Okay, everybody, welcome back. So you can see, I've got the mini bike once again. We're down here at the campfire. Dad mowed down here, and I moved wood away. But my friend is uh, with me today for a little bit here, at least I think. And we're gonna cook some tamales in a can by Hormel. It's a good camping food. So we're gonna try it. I brought down the cooker that was in the fan mill, and we're gonna see how it cooks. So real quick, I'll show you what that looks like, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I'm up here. And this is what the can looks like. It is, it's not focusing. There we go. Hormel tamales. And that is the can they come in. But I gotta put them in while I'm up here because I have no can opener and this has no like pull tab. So that's how I'm gonna leave them for us to do down there. But that's how they come in the can. Okay, so now that you've seen that, um, I'm gonna get out of this bag. Travis is here. I'm going to get out our cooker, and right here it is, it's, oh crap, <laughs> just dropped it, it's the Primal Ridge one, so we're going to give it a try, I'm going to use the stove top converter though, because I brought, oh crap, that's leaking, okay, yes it is, so it kind of leaked in there, but we got them inside of this little titanium MSR pot. And I'm going to try it on the stove top on this cooker. So I'll let you guys know if these are any good. But I'm going to set this cooker up without you guys having to see it. And then I'll get back to you. Okay guys, so cameraman Travis started the recording. That's insane. So when I turned this on, I got the stove top on from that kit. When I turned it on, it was like on full blast. And I got a full whiff of just solid propane. So that wasn't pleasant. But now I got this, and we're just going to start it up. So it's got an automatic starter. If you guys watched the fan mill, it was a very long one, so I'm not sure if you've seen this or not, but just got to turn this on. There's just something with my propane, I think. Not propane, propane. So that is on. But the windscreen is not on this one. So it's kind of a pain, but really quick, there those are just like that. And I have to take the paper off of these. You can see they come like this. They're inside of like a paper. They don't look the best, but if these are good camping food, I mean, it's worth bringing them if I do another trip soon here. So I just gotta pull all the paper off. I'm gonna run this through a minute cause it's never been turned on ever, so. Yeah, these don't really look pleasant, but I mean, it's like a good two dollars for them. I don't know how many you get. How many you get? Like, you get six of them, I think. But they have, they all have this paper on them. It's just like parchment paper or something. One more. I brought down just the regular fork for these, so I'm gonna leave that there on the edge. But it said on the can to like put them in a microwave or something. But for the stove top, it said just kind of lay them out and cook them like that. So we're going to set them on top here. Like I said, first time using this and first time cooking stove top on any of these like jet bowl kind of things. So we're just going to let that cook for a minute. And uh, hopefully, as soon as it simmers, I can get you guys straight back on the camera. Okay, guys, so took the lid off and these are simmering. I don't want to put it any higher because I don't want to burn them or anything. The reason I'm doing them in this is so I can kind of lay them out like the enchiladas would be. And, um, you know, is that what they're called? Yeah, I think it is the enchilada. But they have chicken in them, tomato sauce, and then like a corn. Um, it's like a really, really fine, like, Play-Doh texture for the corn outer shell. But I just got to turn these around a little bit or they'll burn. And I'm just going to keep doing this. If you want to zoom in on it, Travis, you can. I'm sure these will break around, right there. I'm sure these will, uh, whoa! Okay, that was close. I'm sure these will, um, kind of lose this kind of shape. Hopefully they will, because it looks like these will kind of stay the same shape, and that might be kind of gross, but they, they'll still taste the same. So, I'm gonna keep cooking these, and hopefully when I get back with you, they're almost done. Well, these are cooking well, except they're kind of breaking apart a little bit. You can see them there. They don't look the best at all, but I mean, I don't think I'm going to get them any better. So, 
This has been cooking for about, what, 10 minutes? I think it's been about 10 minutes, so I think they're good now. So I'm gonna cut it off before these get into like a complete paste, because it seems like they're gonna keep mushing down. So I'll cut it now. You can see how high this heat gets, just like that, but that should be good for now. And if you wanna show them that. They're looking, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look the best, but I'm sure they'll be tasty. So I'm gonna let them sit a minute, and then we'll get back to you. They're gonna cool down. So it's been about five minutes. I just took the lid off. You can see them there. They're still hot. But I'm gonna give it a try, and we'll give it our final review. So, I mean, it doesn't look the best, but let me know if you guys like, uh, the, like the camera view now or whatever, because he's filming for me. So we're gonna give it a try, but it looks really pasty. So, here we go. <laughs> it's really awkward still. It's actually really good. Like the meat inside, it's like a really pasty meat, but it tastes like just like Taco Bell meat or whatever on the inside. And the outside, it is pasty, but it doesn't mush immediately. It's kind of chunky. So that's good. But I'll take another bite. I'll cut this bite out because I'll take a bigger bite, but then I'll get back with you. So the final rating on this, what would you say, cameraman? Probably eight. An eight? Yeah. I'd say an, like a nine, honestly. The reason I say a nine is because the shape should have been a lot better. And yeah, mainly just the shape. That I mean, that doesn't take too much out of it, so that's why I give it the nine, but Overall, it's delicious. I recommend it for camping, and it just fit in your bag. So, pretty good, all in all. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is super awkward because I've never done this before, because my friend is doing the camera. But um, you can see the sunset like usual over there. But pretty much again, the video off here. Normally, this would just be me holding it here, but he's doing it for this one at least. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.